celebrating 15 years of Young Turks. Welcome back. You're watching Young Turks, our Independence Day special. Now, this show began 15 years ago with the aim of putting the spotlight on young leaders who are transforming the business landscape with new ideas and bold innovation. We'd like to think that the kernel of that thought prompted Anuradha Kedia and Bimant Parikh to start up The Better India in 2014. The Better India is a digital media startup that focuses on positive journalism. Reporting on stories about unsung heroes, innovators and change makers that founders believe mainstream television has bypassed. With over 40 million impressions every month and an annual revenue well over a crore of rupees, Anuradha and Dimanth believe they have a good startup story to tell. Here's a look. One random morning, uh, over the morning cup of chai, you know, reading the newspapers and uh, kind of just discussing how this is... Uh, not making us feel very happy about our country and you know this, this doesn't seem to be uh, giving us the right picture there seems to be so many so many good things happening which are not getting reported and uh, what, we, what we did you know uh, back then instead of just wringing our hands we thought okay let's just start a small uh, blog a personal blog that that helps us collect the stories you know makes us feel better about about the state of affairs and uh, that's how we, we just started and Bangalore Bees, Anuradha Kedia and Diman Parikh, both MBAs from ISP Hyderabad and working professionals who were managing this blog, realized the full impact of positive storytelling when a story they posted on February 17, 2010 on a photography club for the blind inspired a young girl who was visually impaired to pursue photography too. She wrote to Better India team, You have given me a new direction in life. That was the first time someone had told them that they had made an impact. But it definitely wasn't the last. Better India helps me to envision a world, um, a better world for our future generations to come. Two and a half years ago, Anuradha and Dimanth decided to work full time on the Better India, and today the platform receives 40 million impressions every month. Their philosophy too has evolved from presenting just positive stories to stories that speak of and create impact. Our uh, USP is, uh, always was and is even now, is that it is impact driven journalism. So the idea is not to put out stories that make you feel good, that make you feel nice about yourself or the country or anybody else. People should be able to take these stories and do something about them. Either go out and help a poor farmer uh, who's, who's so miserable that he does not have you know, any money to buy a bullock cart or you know, go out and and uh, be able to, you know, feed, feed a, a hungry, a homeless person. A good example of this is a recent video on edible cutlery that the Better India put out under its India Innovate series. This video went viral receiving over 100 million views and transforming the life of Narayana P. Satpati and his business Bakis. So now the cutlery is tasty, fun, nutritious and environment friendly. That's edible cutlery. The most important thing was how his life changed overnight. You know, he had mortgaged his house before the video went live. But uh, soon, as soon as the video went live, within, within a week he had orders of more than six crores. While the edible spoons was one uh, uh, very grand uh, sort of a success, the, uh, there was another video which we did as part of that same series uh, which talked about how a Bangalore based oncologist had invented a voice prosthesis device for less than a dollar. The alternatives currently in the market cost upwards of uh, 40,000 rupees or so. Now this video actually, while it did not go viral in that sense, it got noted by the health officials uh, even in the Obama government. And in fact, they got in touch with this uh, doctor who is based in Bangalore. Um, and then he kind of got an opportunity to discuss his findings and take this whole invention uh, at a global scale. So through this prosthesis, air is sent from the lung into the food pipe and the food pipe vibrates and behaves like a normal voice box and cheats the brain and the brain gives instructions to the food pipe to speak again. With a team strength of 13 people, the daily shots are driven by the in-house team while production for the long-form series is outsourced. The Better India team then oversees the content editorially. 
Growth has come fast to this online digital content platform with revenues having grown 400% to a crore of revenues annually. So one of the things we were very clear from early on is that if we decide to take this on full time as a venture, uh, we clearly wanted to build it into a sustainable revenue generating uh, platform. And over the past few years, we've experimented with a lot of uh, different revenue models. Uh, and over a period of time, we figured that what we don't want to do is very clear. We don't want to be like a PR mouthpiece uh, for organizations. So if you look at how uh, predominantly content marketing has been done is where you essentially uh, have a brand kind of intertwined with a particular story right and we decided we well, let's let's do it very differently let's take up stories that we as editorial would want to do anyway and get and get relevant brands to come on and and kind of sponsor that so they, they do get the association with the cause but the content is independent of the brand that's supporting it the focus going forward is producing more regional language content and investing heavily in building the technology pieces that will help the content analysis and optimizing distribution as well. Speaking of distribution, the Better India is available through Facebook, Twitter and now even a WhatsApp subscription list that reaches over 5 lakh individuals daily. When we asked Anuradha and Dimant what their future goals are, they simply said they wanted to become India's morning good news platform. Anuradha and Vimant here is wishing you all the very best for a better India and welcome to the Young Techs community. After a break, find out how students from Delhi University are translating the Swatch Bharat slogan to a reality in Delhi slums. Celebrating 15 years of Young Turks.